part book, only four chapters. Okay. Zechariah 13. 13. Start it. Go to 8. I'm going to read that and show you something. Because like, like he said, eight. God so loved the world, which were the Israelites, right? Yeah. That he gave his only begotten son, which is Yahweh Shai. Yeah. He sent him down, Prince and the Savior, to give repentance. Remember we read that scripture? Yeah. To give repentance to Israel and the forgiveness of sins. So he so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. So whosoever should believe on him out of the Israelites, right? You're going to have everlasting life. Because check this out. Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass, meaning it ain't happened yet. That word shall come to pass, meaning future. Okay. Right? That in all the land, said the Lord Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Two parts is what? Uh, two parts. Two parts shall be cut off and die. Two parts is actually... Half or something like that? It's two thirds. Two parts is two thirds. I know... A half, two parts of a fourth is a half. So two parts, two thirds, 66%. Okay. And it says, shall be cut off and die, but the one, but the third, a third shall be left in. What's a third? Uh, that's, that's like. A third, it's one third, right? Yeah, a third. So if you got a third. A third of the pie. If you got a third of the pie, you take away a third, what's left? Uh, uh, two thirds. Yeah, two thirds. See that? One third is what? What's the percentage on one third? One third. That's, that's like twenty, thirty, forty, thirty, thirty percent. Thirty-three. Thirty-three. Yeah, because one. When you're dealing with mathematics, you got one third. One is on top. In the school, they taught you it was a numerator. And the denominator is what? The number on bottom. Yeah, well, my, my math ain't that good either. So, <laughs> so, yeah, so what you do to see the percentage of a fraction, because one third is a fraction, right? Yeah. So what you do to get the percentage is you divide one by three. So you would have the one inside the parentheses and the three on outside. Yeah. So one can't be divided into three, but that's why in math you add point zero, which makes it 10. Okay. So you got the point, which three goes into 10, what, three times. Yeah. So that's point three, and it's gonna keep repeating, because nine minus one, 10 is one. You gotta put the zero, and it's gonna continue to be three. Yeah. So that's 33%, point three, 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 three. So if you take 33 from 100, what you get? Like 80? Mm -mm. Seven? Mm. <laughs> 33 minus 100. What's 33 minus, uh, what's, 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 what's 100 minus 30? Uh, seven. Okay, take three more away. Uh, 67. Six. So it's 60, it's point, it's 66.667%. So it's really 60, 66%. Right, it's, it's what you call a remainder or carryover. Because you keep going, it's gonna be six, 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 then it's gonna be a seven. So he's telling you that I'm going to, in that scripture, right? He's telling you he's gonna destroy two thirds shall be cut off and die. That's of the nation of Israel. Israel. That's okay. Israel alone. They ain't talking about the so-called white man. That's not talking about the so-called Japanese. That's not talking about the Chinese. That's not talking about the Arabs. That's not talking about the, uh, the, the Polynesians, it's not talking about the Hawaiians, it's talking about his chosen children because they have done what? Sinned against his word. Yeah. Just like these pastors, you add to the word, they're going to be destroyed. So the Lord going to destroy 66% of the people that he said these are my people all over the world, wherever Israel at. Israel is, is a sin. They, you got Israelites in Japan. You got Israelites in China. You got Israelites everywhere. They all in every country is, is Israelites. So us as a whole, the whole planet is seven is seven billion people. Now, just throwing numbers out there, I could be lying. Probably four billion or five billion, probably Israelites. Nah, that's a lot of people. So he gonna kill a lot of people, man. That's that's man. He says this. He says, and it shall come to pass, verse 8, that in all the land, right? Yeah. All the land. 
all the land that's everywhere, even including America, where our people at. Yeah. Say it the Lord Yahweh. I'm gonna say his real name, brother. Two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. So it's gonna be a third people that's gonna make it. Yeah, a third. Thirty-three percent gon' 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 be okay. Okay. Right? Well, man, I know the book of, of Noah. Noah? Like, yeah. Everybody died, but yeah, eight people. Yeah. <laughs> so that's letting you know, check this out, that's letting you know the mercy, the forgiveness that the Lord has for his people. Because he can kill everybody again but eight people and start all over. Because those eight people, when you read in Genesis, the ninth chapter, those those eight people, those three brothers and their wives are one populated the whole earth. Everybody come out of them three brothers. Seven, seven billion people come out of them three boys. You gotta remember everything before that. Yeah, the Lord killed everybody, but now He gonna save thirty-three percent of Israelites all over the world. He gonna save thirty-three percent. That's mercy, man. That's a lot of mercy. That, that's a, that's a, that's a that's a that's a beautiful that's a beautiful power, man. That's a beautiful uh, higher power. You how about Shemuel Shai, man? You know what I mean? Because think about it, in this time here, if he was gonna only say eight people out of seven billion, we all messed up, bro. We all messed up. If he saved eight people on this side now, that'd just be four men and four women. Yeah, that's 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 <laughs> that's tough. We didn't see look, we looking at four men across the street. That's like out of the whole world, them four men are making. And then the next four girls you see will be with them. And everybody on the whole planet gets killed. Yeah. Everybody. That's basically what happened in Noah. You see them? So it's like, it's like, that's the mercy of the Lord, man. How about Shangal Shai, man? Man, you, you coming out here now, you coming out here now, it's like you you standing here with your Bible, man, and like, you know, you ain't, you, you ain't, you ain't like scoffing at, at the word, you listening. So obviously, you know, hey, it could be the Lord could have you uh, in this thing, man. Yeah, it because, sounds serious. Uh, let me, I mean, I got a scripture. Uh, I think it's uh, 1 Timothy, New Testament. How about Shinyahu Shai, man? Hey, man, I'm gonna say Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai. Hey, that's the second time. You, first time you say you didn't know what scripture was, and he showed it to you in like three seconds. Now you find it that fast, man. Because people, hey, it's people don't even know what them books at, bro. It's people that you say that, they won't even know where it's at, man. And they will probably just stand there with their Bible under their arm, listen. Like, at least you're going to it and you're trying to see it. So, hey, man, that's a beautiful thing. Hey, but uh, check this out. First Timothy, the first chapter, the 11th verse, it says, according to the glorious gospel of the blessed power, which was committed to my trust. It says, uh, it says, and I think Yahweh Shai, our Lord, hey, bro, who have enabled me for that he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry. So we got brothers doing this all over the world. So it, it says, we thank Yahweh Shai, our Lord, who have enabled me, he enabled us, right? He gave us the ability, he gave us the knowledge, right? For he have counted me faithful, and that's what he do, he bring you in the truth, he count you faithful to do this work. And it says, putting me in the ministry. So it's a beautiful thing to be in this ministry, man. 
because the brothers who are in this ministry that's pushing this gospel and preaching it the right way that like they have been instructed is going to be a blessing for them uh, uh that first of all they won't be destroyed when the, when the, when when all hell breaks loose in america when the missiles get shot and when the uh, rfid chip come and when the th uh, sedition among men when the martial law come the lord gonna protect these men man it's a beautiful thing he said to be in this ministry that he, he aimed us to even come into the ministry man because he didn't have to uh the lord didn't have to uh, have men to come out and then I, I turned it on the youtube and saw men preaching this word and i believed the first time i heard it and i grabbed scriptures and, and i believe you know what i mean the lord said hey he's i choose you you don't choose me christian people be like well i, I came and gave the lord my life no man that ain't right <laughs> you add to the word yeah. you take it away the lord choose you man it, it's, it's crazy you got your bible man it's you asked the question so bro man it says verse 13 who was before a blasphemer and a persecutor, right? And injurious. That's what Paul used to be, right? Because Paul is, is thankful, uh, thankfulness for the mercy. This is Paul. He's thankful for that mercy that the Lord gave him. Because Paul used to persecute the uh, Jews, the real, the Israelite Jews. Paul used to fuck them up. You know, I'm using, you know, rude speech, bro. You know, yeah. you know what I mean? Just. You know, yeah, overlook that, bro, because I'm every now and then I'm going to say one of them words. Uh, most people hear, oh, you cussing. But Paul used to fuck the Jews up. And then it's a scripture where he was going to Damascus and a light came down and Yahweh shot came down himself and knocked him off the horse. He convert, Paul was converted. He believed. So he's saying right here, who was before a blasphemer? He spoke against the, 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 the Heavenly Father's name, right? And he was a persecutor. He persecuted the uh, Lord's people. Yeah. And injurious. Injurious means uh, insolent. Meaning like he was, he was, he was basically uh, he was hell. Like let me look injurious. I looked that up. Injurious. Basically, he was a he was he was he was a, he was a bad M effort. <laughs> injurious. Let me look that up. Injurious. Uh, man, it's funny, man. It's right. Hey, man, this spirit y'all bashing me outside. So cold. Hey, I was, I was, I was in Deuteronomy, uh, looking up the stars of heaven. When I, when I closed that out, it went right to First Timothy one and thirteen. Man, look, I ain't even mashed, mashed it out to even look at it, man. Look at that, man. It went right to First Timothy, man, one and thirteen, man. I just closed out Deuteronomy, man. I close out do the run me, it went right to Timothy, man. That's hey, that's your how about Shimmy was shy, man. Uh injurious means it's a, a Greek word, hobiste, hobistius, hobistus. It says hobistus is the Greek word. The, the definition is despiteful, maltreater, a maltreater, despiteful, one who uplift with pride either heaps insulting language upon others or does them some shameful act or wrong. So Paul, hey, when he was when he was messing them uh, Christians up, he was using harsh language. Like 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 our people would do today, man. Yeah. You know, like Jake, I'm gonna say the word Jake because if you hear me say the word Jake, it's short for Jacob. Okay. The Negroes, the Latinos, and the Native Americans are the children of Jacob. If I say Jake, I'm saying short for Jacob. If I say Jake them, I'm talking about the Negroes, the Latinos, and the Natives. So when Paul, with course that definition, he said he was injurious, just like Jake them. If you have a fight with a Jake, right? You know, that's the kind of stuff. Hey, that's gonna be done away with. We're not gonna be having motorcycles riding around in the kingdom. You know, it'll be a different type of music. It'll be more beautiful. So when he says he was injurious, right? He was a man with strong language, doing things to people that were acts of wrong. So when you see Jake the other day, you see two Jakes have a fight. One Jake get him on the ground. When he beat him, he talking to him, bitch ass nigga, yeah. motherfucker, punk motherfucker. <laughs> That's what yeah. Paul. That's the way we read the definition. That's what Paul was doing to the to the uh, the Jews, the, the, the Israelites, to his own people. 
Yeah, you know, whatever language they use in that day, he was using it. Today, I'm just using it because everything it is, the Ecclesiastes 1 and 9, right? The things that were, they, they now, right? So I'm just using the language how they would act now. If you see two Jakes fighting, one Jake is somebody on the ground, he gonna talk while he beat him. Yeah. Bitch ass nigga, then I tell you, motherfucker. That's how he gonna do. Yeah. You want some more, motherfucker? Yeah, they, yeah, they gonna do that. So Paul was doing that to the to the Christians, like you know, <laughs> using that insulting language or whatever, whatever language they was using. He was he was dealing with it, right? And it says, uh, "And injurious, but I obtained mercy, because the Lord gave me that mercy." And it says, "Because I did it ignorantly in unbelief." So he didn't believe. He did it ignorantly, man. He didn't know, oh, right? So he, and it, he didn't know what he was doing. He, he didn't know, man. He just, you know, he doing what he thought he, he was supposed to be doing. And it says, verse 14, and the grace of our Lord was exceedingly abundant with faith and love, which was in Yahweh Mashiach. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation, except acceptation that Yahweh Mashiach came into the world to save sinners in whom I am chief. So Paul said, I was a chief sinner, man. <laughs> so when he, when he knocked him off the horse and saved him, he was saving one of the chief sinners, bro. So that's what the Lord come to save, man, the sinners, man. And the elect sinners, the elect, we all, bro, I wasn't always doing this, man. You know, nine, 10 years ago, I was doing something else, man. Yeah. You know, I wasn't always doing this. The Lord showed me mercy, man. It's like I'm a sh boom. He had it where, hey, he was like, look, hey, he had, he, hey, he, 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 he did the thing, man. He, he, he touched my mind and made me see something that I believed in, which was the truth, man. Cause you know, hey, it's all kinds of. I was in that Islam too at one time. I didn't been in the Christian church, you know. Yeah. We went to church and all that, urchins and all that shit, man. Ain't learned nothing. So why they why, you know, why they get all these different religions? I mean, that's them other nations, man. They're not El Israel, man. Okay. You know? So they like fake gods. What are they? Yeah, they fake gods, man. What did Israel do when we left uh, out of the uh, out of Egypt? We went into the uh, wilderness. They built a golden calf. Yeah, my uncle was telling me about that. You know, they built a golden calf, man, and, and worship it, man. And that's our people to the day. They still worship everything but the right power. They don't worship Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, the true power of the universe, the heavens, man. They don't worship. Them, man. So why, why do all of them get, get this get this knowledge? Because the Lord don't want everybody to get it. The Lord works in small numbers. If everybody got it, then guess what they would do? You think they would praise the Lord if everybody got it? They praise themselves. You're right. You're right. Just think if everybody in the whole world, and you was the only one that the Lord was dealing with, and, 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 and 10,000 people came against you to fight you, and you killed all 10,000 of them in less than 10 minutes. What you think the other 20,000 looking, you think they gonna come at you? Cause they gonna be like, dude got some power on him that came from the Lord. Yeah. Just like David and Goliath. When you read David and Goliath. Hey, it's hard fighting two people. Exactly, it's hard fighting one man, shit. And these bodies we got, Soon you swing like five punches. If you ain't been training and, and, and your endurance is up, yeah. if you just walk around these regular bodies and somebody come at you, man, and you have a fight, bro, you're going to be tired. Yeah. And people who train can only fight about, what, 12 to 15 rounds? Yeah. They train daily at it professionally. Yeah, You know what I mean? But, like, you could take a man who trained, if five men went at him, he going to be able to hit probably one or two, but they going to get him because somebody going to take his legs out. So the Lord works in small numbers. That's why he said only 144,000. The men, only 144,000. Get Revelations up. Go to Revelation. You know what that's at, right? Yeah, yeah, I know what that's at. Everybody knows the last book. Yeah. Scary book, right? The scary book. That's in the back. What the preacher say? We can't read Revelations. It's been sealed up. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they say, ain't it? It's been yeah. sealed. No, nah, man. <laughs> Your mind been sealed. Your conscience was sealed like I would a hot iron to tell you to take Timothy, I think, for it. Your conscience been seared with a hot iron. You don't know. Uh, let's see. Uh, this is... Uh, Revelations 14. Revelations 14. Revelations 14. 
and it won. 